weird that space shuttles didn't make it into Ultima Online. I don't know why. I think we're just going to go ahead and get started, so... Let's go for it. So, we're going to need to create a new character. Um, what I'm going to try to do is... I'm going to go all agility. I think... And then maybe... All... Uh, well... I'm thinking something like that. Okay. And then we're going to go with, hold on, I think it'll be elf, male, and then let's do a fighter and see what that does. I want to check one thing. I just wanted to, I, I did look up some basic stuff about, about the game. Um, like I didn't look up the story or how to beat it, but I, I looked up like, like what do the stats do using the manual? Um, yeah, we'll do an elf. Okay. We're going to do an elf. So let's go. We already did an elf. And then fighter was... Fighter was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fighter gives you strength and agility. Now, I want to... I'm going to still... Try to steal with this character. Even though I know that is not going to be his specialty. I think he's going to get caught a lot. Yeah, we were already caught. There's no way we're going to get out of this. We'll turn the sound off so you guys don't have to listen to it. That's okay. I want to see if this is doable. Um... If I can steal while being a fighter, I think it will be tougher. For sure. I think we're I think Britain is above this up this way. Alright, so we're we're just gonna start off by doing that. Same thing over and over again. Yeah, I, I might need to be a thief for this to work. I wonder if I could, like, get away this way by corralling them. Oh, that actually works. So we can just keep doing that. Okay. That works. Great sword, light sword. We were caught. Okay, so. Maybe... I can actually do this. We just... Oh, okay. All right. We've figured out a neat, nifty stealing strat. Okay. Okay. Good start. Phaser. Better. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing again. Okay. We're, we're going for a blaster, I think it was. Ooh, we got the blaster. Now, if we leave... This is something I wanted to see. Okay, so that's saved. So we've saved. I'm kind of curious. Chain mail, plate mail, we're caught. Okay, that's fine. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so we've let's equip that. Let's equip the. Let's equip the. We need to heal, but we have no money. We've kind of put ourselves in a bit of a, a bit of a bind here, actually. Ooh, okay. Well, hold on. Now we can actually see if that load worked. Mm, let's see. 
Weapon. Yeah, we do. Okay, so the save worked. Maybe we should go do some killing first. Ooh. Like, just maybe make some cash this... Although, we'll get some hit points when we leave, right? Although, we're... We might need to... Let's see if, how we did there. So, it's K, okay, right? Let's climb. Okay, there we go. We're, that works. I think we're just gonna run up and down this hall. Okay, so we're we're building up our coin. We're building up hit points. I'm gonna go for like, I don't know. Let's go for 500 gold to start. All right, we're at 500 gold. So let's climb out. And I think what we're gonna do is let's save. Let's then start stealing armor. Ooh, reflect suit. I'm pretty sure that's the best one in the game, so we're done. I don't think we need to steal anything else. You know what we might want to do? Start stockpiling... Magic. Ladder up, I think? We're gonna make sure we have, like... 10 of each of those. I think we're kind of stuck farming right now. I think I'm going to farm in these first few levels because it's safe. And the benefit of going down is mostly not there. You don't get you get a little you get a little more. But, but it's, but like, you don't see, like, considering how much damage you take, I'm not sure going down and farming is what you want to do. All right. I'm going to go for a thousand hit points. Spend a bunch more money on food, and then we're going to go explore. All right, let's go, level, go out. So why don't we go explore this continent, actually? We were already here, right? Fawn, this is where we, yeah, we just bought all this magic. So we've basically explored this whole side of the island. Oh, here's another king. So what do you got for me, buddy? Let's talk, offer pence or service. Let's offer service. Kill a gelatinous cube. Okay, so we we let's write down. Let's let's write that down. Let's open up a notepad. All right, what do you what do you got for me for transport? This maybe this is a good place to buy a transport. Uh, talk by ooh. Okay, uh, shuttle. Oh, so we're gonna need nine hundred and fifty gold. Uh. We're gonna need, we're gonna buy a shuttle apparently later. All right, so we're going for a thousand gold, people. Get ready. I think we have enough now. Yeah, we're over a thousand now. So let's go buy our air car and then save. Okay. Transportation, let's talk, let's buy. We're gonna go with air car. I wanna save the game now. And I'm gonna back up my file. Now, here's our air car. How do I, maybe it's board? Board air car. 
They can't pass woods. Oh. We can use the blaster though. So let's enter. I gained two stamina. You know what I'm curious about? It says you can reuse signs. So what if I was to just go back and forth like between these two signs? Like, could I just spam getting stamina? So it's enter, exit, enter, or board. Let's snipe this guy. Got him. Got him. So we exited. What about again? What about what about this? We've gained two stamina. Is there a way to see our stats? Let's go to keyboard commands. Attack, board, cast a spell, drop. Enter, fire weapon, get adjacent, adjacent objects. Oh, there's apparently a, you can fire from a weapon from a ship? Oh, he's got, it's got lasers. So I can attack or I can use my lasers. Oh, that's interesting. You know what we could all, maybe what we should do, why don't we make some cash here so we don't, hopefully this is like a decent farming dungeon. It's not looking good though. All right, maybe it's not bad. They're just... All right, let's board and let's keep going around the island. Okay, let's exit. What do we got? Where are we now? The city of Turtle. I don't see anything here I want to check out. Let's proceed. Here's a castle. There's a king. Service, the Tower of Knowledge. We just cycle back and forth between these two and get millions of stamina. Exit. Two extra stamina. Oh, do we go through our whole sheet of, 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 of uh, controls? Okay, Z will tell us our, our statistics and stuff. So, oh, this is helpful. So hold on, let's look. So our stamina is 21. Now, if I just keep going back and forth, does it actually go up? Exit. Enter. Oh, I should have looked before I, I could have just, right. 23, it was 21, right? Yeah, so it's working. All right, so is this gonna be, this will be nine again, I think. No, now it's only one. It's giving you Ooh, it's giving you whatever the 10 spot um it seems like it's giving you whatever the first number is so okay well whatever we got 99 stamina that's fine is that the max let's just do it one more time to see if that's the max okay i think we found the cap it's 99 all right good to know and we're probably at 500 right now. Oh, hey, signpost. My name is, hey, this is interesting, actually. This, my name is Ozymandias. That is a guy that we killed in the rooftop. He's the guy that gave us the hard time. It's 
So we got wisdom from that. Interesting. So the signpost, that signpost is... This is the city of the snake. We need to find a nearby signpost to this, hopefully. Oh, what is this? The pillars of the astronauts. You find a dagger. Where are we? We're on the lands of the feudal lords. Here's a signpost. This is charisma. I don't really know how much I care about charisma unless there was like another stat one nearby. What is this? Oh, here's a sign. So this is relatively close to a sign that's just south of us, I think. What do we get from this sign though? No effect. Interesting. Uh, this is Ozamendias or whatever, right? This is Feudal Lands. Okay. And then what was the other one called? Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, interesting. There's two signposts that are really close. Uh, this is danger and despair. Wrote them all down on a piece of paper. So what was danger? What have I been to this signpost? It gave no effect. But it's really close to Ozzy. So what if we go get wrecked? Dragon turtle. What does this give me? This is wisdom or something, right? Oh, we we also just completed that quest again. It was the white... Okay, so we're good. We've completed all of the quests. What are our stats? Uh, strength? We still got a long way to go on strength. Is there a strength pillar? I'll be honest with you guys. I'm just going to look it up because I don't care. So it seems like the only way you can build strength is by doing quests, right? So, oh wow, we got lots of monsters. This is the Ozzy one, right? Ozzy pillar gives us our wisdom. Okay, so he wants me to do Grave of the Lost Soul. Okay, so we, we we didn't we didn't take the quest last time we were here. Now, if we go up here, there should be another pillar. Now, basically, guys, what I'm doing is I'm working on my strength, and then once the strength is done, this is protection. Quest has been completed. Okay. So this we can go back to despair and whatever, right? And then I think we can actually hand in something here. I want to get our hit points way up and then go dungeoning. So we are, I think we're ready to go dungeoning. Do we want food? We don't really need food. I think we're going to go to the original dungeon that we were in.
Man, we are under fire. Okay, so the question is, do I want to... Oh, wait a minute. Why don't we at least keep the hover... We should keep the hovercraft with us at all times. Do we want to... I'm debating if we should farm life and gold up here. How much is he? He's missing. He's missing. He's missing. He can't. These things. Okay. He did hit for 10 there. So it's not, we're not like totally invulnerable. The question is, do I want to XP here till I get like. Like, do I want to farm hit points and gold here before we go down and try to take a Balron out and all those things? That's what I'm wondering. I think the answer is yes. I'm gonna leave, claim our XP, buy a few more ladders up. And then I think we're going down to hunt Balrons. Maybe Liches? We gotta do a Lich, Balron, and a Creeper. Almost. Snake. Oh, I see a gelatinous cube coming. All right, let's get out of here. So I want to see what it happens when you're being attacked. Let's go to the end of the hallway and you try to use an up thing. Okay, so if we use ready spell ladder up how do i cast okay so then can i just climb it right in his face oh i can oh okay that's super helpful to know like i'd like to get okay here we go so let's see how many hit points do i get 35 we're up to 3500 we got 6100 gold it's not bad Not that it'll matter. Let's take a look at our stats here. So we got plenty of ladder ups. We got plenty of ladder downs. Oh, we can put our reflect suit back on, actually. I'm glad we took that off because the gel allegedly the gelatinous cubes do kill your... All right. I think let's see if we can go for maximum hit points here. So we're going to pay. Oh, we completed a quest too. Great. More strength to boot. Uh, Pence. How many pence? Let's do, I don't know. 5,000. Oh. All right, I guess we're going on a quest for Balrons now. I think that's what's about to happen, people. We're going all the way to the bottom of this dungeon. So let's head back over there. I guess let's go all the way down and go for some Balrons now. This is, uh, an ex you know, whatever. All right, so we need to go, we need to ready a spell. We're gonna just ladder all the way down. Cast, climb. Okay, so we're on level seven. I don't know if things can find us. I'm a little bit turned around. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna head down a level. Uh, climb and hope. Oh, this is a nice long hallway with the ladder up. This is a good place potentially to farm. Oh, here we go, it's a wraith. We killed it. We killed, I think we just killed a lich.
because I heard a quest song go off, but it was just a giant face. Oh, is this it? Oh, Lich. Yeah, okay. This is a Lich. We've we've killed the Lich. Okay. Got it. All right, so let's... Now we're going down for Balron. We're literally... We seem to just be in a box. Down to level 10. Here we go. Hopefully we're not in a box again. Looks like we are. Um, I want to do ready, spell, ladder up. I want to cast it. We're going to grab it. We're going to go forward. And then we're going to ready, spell, ladder down. And we're going to cast it. And then we're going to go down. And then we're going to unlock the chest. And then we're on the level. This is something called Zorn. He's hitting me for a ton. I'd like to find a way back up. and then fight in that hallway. Unlock. Open. Oh wait, hold on. There's the ladder up right there. There's the natural lad ladder up. So. We should have a ladder here, right? Oh shoot. There's the ladder. I don't want to stray too far from this ladder, to be honest with you guys. Oh, here's a bow. Oh, this is a demon. We need a Balron. Invisible Seeker killed. I think this might be what we're going to do. Just cycle this hallway till we get a Balron. Our hit points are holding out. A Mind Whisperer. Invisible Seek. Oh, a Balron. Here we go. That is an intimidating looking creature. Quest completed. Okay. So, I think... We've gotten, we need to just kill a carrion creeper now, is I believe what will need to happen. Go, let's cast, ladder up, and then we can climb. Cast, climb, cast, climb. I'm gonna search around on level five, I think. Or right, here's a ladder, ladder down. So we might be able to just cycle this hallway. I don't know what level a carrying creeper is on. A mimic. Okay. Minotaur. All sorts of interesting things. Oh, this looks like it could be a creeper. Oh, carrying creeper. We're done. Let's get. I think we've now finished every quest. Uh, so we can just keep casting, climb our way out. So how many X, how many hit points do you guys think I'll have? I got 7,000 right now. Nine thousand two hundred fifty-one. So we're in pretty darn good shape still. Let's go turn these in. I think the, the one quest was, here's the castle, right? I'm hoping they give me strength or something for turning this in. All right, so talk. 
I should tell uh, tell thee that it requires all four gems to launch a time machine. The king, the king gives you a red gem. All right. Nice. I think it's either it's I think it's either right here or just a little bit over to the right. Let's go. Let's see. Nice. There we go. We got a blue gem. All righty. Okay, let's see. Enter. This should be gem three. All right, we've got a white gem now. Does this all show up in my inventory? It does. Okay. And then we need one more. So we just need to go to... Where are we? We're... We're at the despair, right? Let's see. We're uh, you're in the woods. It's not what I meant. It's not what I wanted to know. Uh, danger and despair. So we need to go. I think we need to go just up to the next continent north, and then we're good. Here's one. Oh, okay. I know where this one is. Okay, so I think we're about to get our final gemstone, right? Okay, uh... All right, so we have plenty of, we have plenty of coin. We're at 9999. I guess let's head back over to uh, Britannia and maybe we try to buy the shuttle now. So we're here. I think we already made a backup save, right? Let's look and see. Save backup. Okay. So let's buy the shuttle. Okay, we have a shuttle. I don't know if the shuttle requires the gems or what. I don't really know. Okay, here's a shuttle. Let's enter. Uh, uh, is, there, is there a key binding for launch or something? Keyboard commands. Oh, board, board, board. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Oh, we're, we got a blast off here. Apparently Ultima had space. We just saved, so what happens if you fly into this thing? Like, is this just all... Oh, we have fuel. I'm gonna look at controls here. All right, we're in the bottom ship now. Boy, this is uh, confusing. Okay, so you apparently... So you get back to the Earth by landing and you need to shuttle for re-entry, it looks like. Let me look at the controls again real quick, see if there's another hint there. Ultima Online weirdly doesn't have space travel. That's kind of surprising, isn't it? Okay, so we can go to, oh, there's a view. Oh, there we go. Now we try, what was it, warp? What was it, jump? Hyper jump. You were hyper jumping now. All right, we're at light speed. Who knew? Who knew Ultima had, had space travel in it? That's fascinating. This is a TIE fighter right there. Oh, 
Okay, we killed one. Hold on. Okay. So what, what's the point of this? Okay, so the the middle one... Oh, I think the plus sign is where you can chain ships. Like it's got a little docking station is what my guess is what that means. That looks pretty good. No, not good enough. Okay. So if I go this way, I'm trying to see if I'm heading this way. Boy, this is fascinating. Okay. Let's see, did we go up one? We did, we did go up one. So what is an H? Oh, my... Oh, we're out of fuel. So we're dead. Okay, well, we're learning slowly. Okay. Interesting. Now, let's take... So let's look here. So if we go here, this is... 5,000 5, shield, fuel 2,500. This one is... One thousand fuel. Okay, so way more. Okay, so okay, I think I get it. I got it. Understood. Okay, let's take a look here. So, I'm thinking H means unexplored needs to be explored. I don't know what the circles are. Let's go let's go left cuz we can we, if we go left here, we can see what all three are right in a row. I'm worried a little worried about fuel though. There was just nothing here. Ni neither enemy nor anything. So So if we go hyper jump Now this was a circle, right? Oh, oh. So empty space, circle. And what is H? So circle seems to be a sun. So these guys here seem to just be like nothing. This seems to be a star. Now we're going to a plus an H now, right? Okay, so hold on a minute. Yeah, so nothing. These are nothing. These are whatever. These are the plus signs are docking ports. I think that should refuel my... I 
I should get shield and fuel, is my guess. That's looking okay. Maybe a little bit too too high. Oh, you need money to dock. Oh. All right. We're learning. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's just close it. We, we're getting, we're learning. All right, everybody ready to go back to space in Ultima? I hope so. So we need to do everything we just did over again. Correct. Okay, so we're going to take... Honestly, I think we're going to take the big ship. It's... Oh, it's got way less shields. Well, we're going to try it. It's got a lot more fuel. Ooh, we just got hit. We might get shot down here. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this ship. Okay, this is a better ship. No doubt about it. Now, where do we want to go, though? If I recall, all of these were kind of easy fights, right? Well, I don't know. Let's just go to the left. Let's go up. No, let's go down. Let's go down. The... Like, the, the game, like, the instructions consisted of here are the buttons you can press. That's what the instructions were. Very little hand holding. All right, we should have a fight here, right? This guy. Okay. Uh, I don't want to mess around with... F oh, hey, check it out. The quickest way to another H would be continue on left and then go down. Uh, let's see. So we want to go down one now, right? We got to be getting pretty close to Space Ace here, I feel like. All right, let's go. Let's Space Ace it. One shot, one kill here. Come on. And we're Space Ace. I called my shot and we got Space Ace. Okay. So. Uh, oh, we're not done yet. All right. So we need to get back to Cesarea now. So we'll get in our shuttle. Okay. So we're undocking the shuttle. I'm going to stay away from the sun because I don't know if like that's something that damages the shuttle. And we're headed back to Cesarea, so let's pay attention for clues here, because if I don't get a clue here, I am completely out of... I have no idea where to go. Thou hast landed safely. Alright, that's not much of a hint. Is there a jester we can kill here? There's a jester here. And a prison. Let's try this. I'm gonna kill you, Mr. Jester. Thou hast found a key. Five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try. Ah, so can we talk? What are we what are we doing with the prisoner? Thou has saved the Oh, it's a princess.
I didn't read the whole message. Did anyone else see what the second half of the message said? Someone clipped that. Somebody crud. I missed the whole, I missed part of the message. Informs you that thou are now ready for time travel and that there is time, there's a time machine far to the northwest. A time machine. All right, we're looking for a time machine, guys. All right, so time machines here. We just saved. We're full health. We got some coal. We got some coin. We got food. We got plenty of up and down. Let's let's do it. Uh, board the time machine. Entering the craft. Now remark upon four holes marked. Cool. Oh, so this is why you had to do the pre-quests. Further, so we're going to hit launch. We're going to nothing to do with press it. All right, let's do it. Press the large button. Uh, lights begin to dance across the control screen. Shake the very floor. Uh, the small craft begins to tremble and rattle as your journey through time begins. A moment later... You were to face with the evil mundane himself. Good luck. This is it. Wow. No dungeon. I did not need ladder up, ladder downs. You guys ready for this? This is mundane. He mind blasted me. Do we hit him? We hit mundane. What is this? What if I shoot this thing to the left? I just miss. All right, we're going at mundane now. He's mind, it's mind, of oh, psionic shock. Oh, we're, we're chasing him down. All right, we're 1v1-ing. I can't seem to shoot. I thought there would at least be like a dungeon I had to go to. I didn't realize he was going to pull me out of my. Oh, we're still hitting him for damage. Let's go. Let's go big. It's starting to feel like maybe that shiny thing over there has something to do with the puzzle. Because he's, you know, seems like he's knocked out or something. Ooh. We can't board. Oh, he's alive still. Surely. It's not, I must be missing something. Maybe I can do, a, I can ready a spell. Maybe a magic missile. We hit him for eight damage. Maybe if we knock knock him out in here. I don't know. Creating the evil gem. Yeah, I mean, I figured it had something to do with that gem. 
what other buttons can we press here to give us hints? Keyboard commands. Attack, we've tried board. We've tried boarding this. We've tried boarding the, the gem. We've tried casting all the spells. We're not going to drop any items. Uh, I guess we could try to enter. We've already tried entering this, right? It's not that. Fire a weapon, no. Get adjacent objects? I don't know. Maybe that's it. Okay. Looks like that might have been it. The gem is destroyed, now let's chase this clown down. One more hit and I'm dead though, is the issue. Now he's not casting on me, but if I touch anything, I'm dead. Any wall, anything whatsoever, I'm toast. Go to the corner. I am victorious. I think we beat this game. I wanted to be done with this game at 7.30, and it is 7.28, and I did not read very much information about this game. Reign of Silver Lightning heralds the death of Mondane. You can read it. I'm not reading to you. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll paraphrase. Uh, age using during years past. New surroundings. Thousands who gaze upon thee in admiration. Your selfless heroism has saved our people. Should our gratitude alone not be enough, sustain I, Lord British, hereby ordain that the entire realm of Cesaria be at thy service for all time. Henceforth, so let it be done. Control, alt, delete to restart. Really? That's it. That was Ultima 1. We've now completed Ultima 1. That's very exciting. Um, I'm very happy that we did that. Um, we will probably do some Ultima 2 sometime soon. So should I ask them if they should like and subscribe? Uh, no. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of my other content. I have a full series on Ultima Online, and I have some retro game playthroughs as well. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.